Hey everyone, this is Isaac. I wanted to show you how to update your security certificates in your Outlook. This allows you to um, post, send and receive encrypted and signed emails. Uh, so this is real quick. If I go too fast, please just go ahead and pause the video, catch yourself up on a second screen and resume the video. And uh, here we go. All right, so you have to be in your Outlook account to update your security certificates and to do so, you're going to come in and you're going to click on file in the upper left corner. Once you're in the file, click on options on the left hand side. And now we're in the first pop up. On the left hand side of the pop up, click on trust center right here on the bottom left corner. And once that you click there, come over to the right side and click on trust center settings. Last pop-up, here we go. On the left-hand side, we need to go to email security. And this is where you're going, going to publish your certificate. So right here in this digital ID certificate section, you're going to click on publish to gal. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Read the pop-up, click OK. Microsoft is about to publish your default security certificates to the global address list. That is correct. That's what you want to do. Click OK and wait. There will be another pop-up that shows that you have successfully posted your certificates and there it is. Your certificates were successfully posted or published successfully. All right, I will tell you at this point uh, it may take up to 24 hours to allow that syncing process to the global address list uh, to take place. Okay, so uh, give yourself about 24 hours um, if, if you have any issues sending encrypted emails or uh, signed emails. Okay, from here, what I can do is um, double check this section right here. You can uncheck this button right here that says add digital signature to outgoing messages. That's this little icon right here, uh, the little ribbon icon that's your digital signature. And that's that, uh, that is what requires you to put in your pin every few minutes when you're in your Outlook. That's the, that's the culprit right there. So if you want to uncheck that, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, and I would also uncheck if you have it set the encrypt content and attachments for outgoing messages and that encrypts every single email by default. Not necessary in the most day-to-day -day access. What I'm going to do is show you how to encrypt an individual email at this time. So here we go. I'm going to click OK out of this one and click OK out of the, the next pop-up and I'm back to my email system. Right? I'm going to click on new email and bring it back over here. All right, I'm in an email and I'm gonna let me close this out right here so you can see what's happening. In my message I am going to put a message to my friend Michael Madalena. All right, and I'll put in my subject test encrypted email and Michael, Mike will come to me and say what's going on? I said, Just making a video, that's all. All right, so I want to encrypt my email. I'm going to come up here to options on the top of my email. And right below that, you're going to see a permission section. So best practice is at this point when you're encrypting an email, uh, it has student PII in it. That's when I would encrypt it. Uh, you have sensitive information you're trying to send to somebody, encrypt it. Click both the sign button and the encrypt button. Uh, making sure that you have both of those will make it uh, ensure the success of this going through. All right, so I am going to click uh, or type Mike a message. Mike, this is a test. Okay, from here I can send the encrypted email. Click send. Now, if you get a pop up for any reason that says receiver cannot receive or the recipient cannot receive encrypted emails do you want to send unencrypted and if you have uh, student PII in there say no right it's as simple as that no and then contact that receiver the recipient and let them know that they need to go in and publish their certificates share this video with them at that point all right so we're gonna take a quick sec all right so my friend Mike had replied to the email uh, the encrypted email. You can notice in the email uh, icon here that it's got a lock on it and that tells me it's encrypted. All right, so when I open it, that was a single click like we're normally used to. Sometimes it's going to require you to 
type in a, your PIN number to access the, um, the email. So that's, that's what it looks like. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, you now know how to publish your certificates to the gal and send in an encrypted email. Take care.